He's dead now. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Action Bros Gaming. We are back. We're going to play some Silver Creek Falls. I uh, I've been. I know the last episode that we did of this, I only played for like 10 minutes. But I think we got a lot of good information out of that. So we're going to go over it all and see if we can uncover some more mysteries and, and see if we can actually finally solve uh, anything, really. Because we haven't, we haven't solved the Walsingham Files, we haven't solved Silver Creek Falls, but I'm going to solve this case. And then we're going to the Walsingham Files, because Chapter 2 is out and I am ready as all hell to play it, so... I want to try and blaze through this game as much as possible. So, without further ado, let's just get into it. I'm ready. Day three. Sarah! Oh Jesus, what's happened? Um, is the mic close enough? I really don't know. This is weird. It's weird having the mic this far away. Sarah! Sarah! What's happening? I just got a call from the captain. The deputy's body was found this morning. Oh shit! Oh damn! Wait, what? Excuse me? The de deputy Hill is dead? Afraid so. Where was his body found? In the police station. We should investigate police stations at the apothecary Apoth road. Let's investigate. Holy! They just killed the deputy? What the hell? What just happened? What? He knows too much. Who blocked the parking exit with their car? Guess we need to walk into town today. A stroll will do us good. What? No, it won't. You could try and make the claim that maybe it's a cover-up or something of that sort that he's just hiding because I am very suspicious about that dweeb. I'll be honest. What? Feds. Move along. Oh no. I am an investigator investigating the death of these fine people, and you will not hinder my investigation, good sir. No. Sorry, ma'am. Sheriff Davis is away right now. I know. I was here yesterday investigating this house. Sorry, ma'am. Can't let you through. Orders from above. Whose orders? My boss. Special agent in charge. He's looking over the police station. I see. No, I don't see. That gives me absolutely no answers. Let me through, damn it. Hey, you two, clear out. This is a restricted area. We're police officers. My name is Detective Sarah Fitzgerald, Hawthorne County Police. Requested my presence here. Your badge says Norfolk Police. Aren't you a bit f far away from your jurisdiction? Aren't you listening? We were asked to come here. This is my jurisdiction. Not anymore. The FBI is taking over this show now, so you can take it easy now, Detective. Thank you for your concern. What happened? I heard the deputy was killed. Yes, we're looking we're looking into a detective. You are relieved. Mike. I'm sorry, detective, but I really need to ask you to leave now. Okay, Agent Smith. We knew him. We should have the we should have the right to see him. Also the case evidence is in that building. We're taking over that as well. The minor cases like the car accident will pass to the Durham Police Force. You are relieved, madam. Don't talk to me like I'm a civilian. These cases are all related. Whoever killed the deputy also killed the college kids. That's for us to decide, detective. Will you be leaving now or do you need to be escorted? Sarah, let's go. Philip, you can't be buying this. They're FBI and they outrank us. Let's go. I can't believe you. Yeah! What the shit? Well, it looks like that's a soft case. Phil, I can't believe you're giving up now. The FBI and Durham police are in here now. We're not even operating within our own state. I'm sorry, Sarah, but I have to leave. But we have to leave. I want to talk to the captain and see if I can get some special permission to reopen the case. I don't care if we have to get the permission from DC. Good luck with that. I can't believe you, Phil. You know that whoever's responsible for all this is out there and you're just going to walk away? Of course I do. You think there wasn't this much politics when I was in the inspector in England? It's the same thing. Shit happens, Sarah. You got to trust the system. I'm not going to let this slide, Phil. I know we haven't known each other that long, and I know you're a cop deep in your bones. we got to find this guy. We will, we will. It's just going rogue is the fastest way for us to lose our badges. You still have the case files and Lee Davis's photos and tapes, right? <laughs> Good job. 
show the captain everything and explain what happened. But right now the FBI has everything locked up right now, so it's not like we can get any more evidence. I'm sure we can work out something special. I trust the captain. You're right. I'm sorry I shouted at you earlier. You're passionate and a cop at heart. It's a good thing. Let's head back to Norfolk now. This place gives me the creeps. Sure, let's get our bags. I'll meet you in the lobby in 15. They billed me for consuming something in the hotel room fridge. I haven't even opened mine the whole time. Don't you hate it when that happens? Tell me about it. I feel like that's important. I feel like there's something there. Good luck with it. I'll see you in 15. That's so weird. Like, what? Mark. I think you have the wrong person, lady. Oh, well, you got here in time. For a second, I thought we missed each other. What? Mark? I mean, that makes that's that makes more sense than Philip. You don't really look much like a Philip, but what? I flew over the second you called me. So you think it's them? Who? Pretty sure. All the telltale signs. Hmm. So Hamilton won't be happy. I thought we sorted this out years ago. Apparently not. Tell him we need the whole team back. It's way worse than before. I'll take a look around. So, you extracting tonight? No. I'm returning to normal folks tonight and we'll be going through a debrief with Sarah. You old softy. Don't spend too long there. I'll meet you to DC in a week. Yeah, see you there. Oh, Sam. Yeah? Don't stay here too long. I know. I'll see you in DC, Mark. What? What? What was that? What? 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 No. 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 No, no, no. I'm not done yet. No, that you, you're not leaving on a cliffhanger this time. Not this time, Sapphire Dragon Productions. No, I'm getting my way. I am playing the second chapter, and I am learning more. And we're going to do a full Let's Play. I'm not cutting this short. No, it's not happening. Not this time. No. 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 All right. Silver Creek Falls Chapter 2. Welcome to the Let's Play. So without further ado, new game. Oh God, that was loud. Norfolk Police Station, Norfolk, Virginia. Space. All right, I'm gonna turn this down just a hair, cause that's loud in my ears. All right. Man, sure feels different without Phil here. The chief called me to come talk to him. I should go straight to him before doing anything. Well, obviously. Alright, so now we're gonna go talk to the detective wherever he is. Why is the frame rate just shit? What has happened? Hey, Chief, how you doing? You heard about Phil, right? Yeah, I got a call from the High Commissioner this morning. It's such a shame Phil had to go back to England. Yeah, it sucks. Scotland Yard needed him back for something. I dropped him off at the airport last Friday. He wanted to visit DC before going home. Wasn't the lady meeting him in DC? Told me better have the time visiting Boston, but his flight to London was connecting through DC anyway. Oh, that's sad. Well, I mean, obviously, of course it was. Yeah, I know you two were working well together. Don't worry, you'll have a new partner next week. So you wanted to talk to me? Is it about my request from DC? You know, when you and Phil came to me last week requesting an extension on that case in North Carolina, I thought you were out of your minds. But this old cop got it wrong. Apparently DC listened and there is an FBI agent here to see you. Are you serious? Even I thought they'd ignore our request. Apparently your James Bond had connections in DC or something. He goes there one weekend and the week after comes an FBI agent. <laughs> okay. I don't know if Phil had something to do with it, but I wouldn't be surprised. Maybe he did. Maybe he trusts Sarah. Maybe he trusts, trusts the Fitzgerald. Who knows? Anyway, enough chatting. 
He's in the operations room upstairs. Don't keep our guests waiting. No, oh, not my boss. I'm great at my job. Uh... Seriously though, what's with this lag? Hi, my name is Sarah Fitzgerald. I take it you're the FBI agent from DC? Yes, my name is Special Agent Valdez. It's a pleasure of see to see you again. Again? Terribly sorry, Special Agent Valdez, but I don't remember meeting you before. Oh really? I guess you had other things in your mind that day. I was the agent standing in front of Lee Davis's house in Silver Creek Falls. Oh, so you're that dick. That's what you are. Oh yeah, now I remember. Firstly, I'd like to apologize for the behavior of my boss that day. Oh, he was the other guy. If it's any comfort to you, Special Agent West was like that to everyone. Was? Special Agent West was assassinated two nights ago at the Silver Creek Falls Hotel. He was staying in the same room you stayed at when you were there. Whoa! What? Here's the file on his murder. Hmm. No forced entry, two gunshots to the chest and one to the head. That's precise. Sorry for your loss, Agent. No one heard anything that night. I was in the room right next to him and I heard nothing. Did you check out the surveillance footage from the hotel security? Yeah, a man dressed in a suit wearing a ski mask walked in at 4.32 a.m. Walk and walked past the concierge and up the stairs. Who would let him through? A guy in a white suit and ski mask? It's like, um, hold up, homie. No, this ain't happening. He opened the door seamlessly, as if he had a key. He went in. He left two minutes later and walked out the door at 4.35 a.m. Concierge remember seeing him? Nope, she says she was in the toilet at the time. Seems the assassin waited for her to go. Good job, lady. At least he had the courtesy not to get her involved. The stills from the video footage are at the back of the file. I see. When we entered Agent West's room the next morning, his phone, laptop, and suitcase were all gone. How about the case files? The four case files that took place in Silver Creek Falls were all gone. His other case files were intact, though. The assassin knew what he was looking for. The guy was clearly a professional. He was clean, fast, and efficient. Whoever ordered this shooting had money. Assassins aren't that cheap. I'm sorry, Agent Valdez, but as interesting as this case is, I don't know why you're telling me all this. The reason I'm here to you, the reason why I'm here talking to you is that I want you back on this case. Huh? Agent West shared a few small details with me, but I suspect the vast majority of what he knew was in those case files. With him and Deputy Hill dead and Sheriff Lee Davis missing, you and Inspector Moore are currently the last remaining cops who know about the case. Sorry to tell you that Inspector Moore went back to England. Yes, your chief told me. Anyway. I saw your request in the office this morning, so I know you want back in the case. Obviously, no need to be smug about it. Cool, I'll drive you to your place so you can pack your bags. I normally keep a change of clothes and some basic necessities in my backpack. That should do right. You're rolling with the FBI now. Ever since I took this job, I've seen an insane amount across the country. You never know where a lead will take you next. I'd pack a few days of clothes if I were you. Okay then, here's my address, so you can meet me there in about an hour so I can pack? No problemo. I wanted to grab a pizza before heading out anyway. Oh god, now I want pizza. Ugh. That's another thing, I'm actually in probably the best shape of my life recently. Thanks. Objective, go home and pack bags before Special Agent Valdez comes pick you up. That is a terrifying transition and I'm not really in the mood for it, okay? But yeah, no, I've been exercising a lot, been working out a ton, and... I'm in fairly good shape, actually. Only a million thinks so I need to go to. Well, I don't know where your house is, lady. Do I need to go to like a car? Ah. But yeah, um, my car's in the shop. The rental is a nice change. <laughs> Been wearing this jacket for a whole week now. I think I'll switch to a new jacket. Phil brought me as a goodbye present. Much better. Oh, it's cute. I like it. It's nice and red. Stop! Oh, it's a cute music. I've already had my basic toiletry. Oh. Oh, right, bedroom. 
Let's pack up, gang. Let's grab some more clothes. Yeah, we're just gonna grab a couple things and I'll just transition to a relevant moment in time. Grab a first aid. Grab all those blood samples. I need all of that. I need my blood samples. Yep, gotta check and make sure the stove's off. Hey, apple. That's gonna go bad. <laughs> it's fantastic how clean my dishes are. I guess that's because I'm never at home. Well, I guess that's everything, so I guess I can leave now. Agent Valdez, you got everything you need? I think that should have me covered. We're gonna be on the road for a few days, so don't be shy about bringing stuff. God knows I travel with half my clothes in my car. Life of an FBI agent, right? I'd be lying if I said I didn't enjoy it. So we're using my car or yours? <laughs> the question of the century. We can use mine. My gas allowance is quite generous. Silver Creek Falls isn't that far away, just two and a half hours from Norfolk. We're not going to Silver Creek Falls. <gasps> where are we going? We're off to Philly. That's where our first lead is. What are we doing in Philly? Remember the crash off Route 17 in Silver Creek Falls? Yeah. We traced the receipts and we found a link to the credit card of the Philadelphia businessman called Connor Friedman. Okay. His blood matched the blood samples we found on site too. Oh shit! Now, check this out. His wife reported him missing two days ago. What? She told me it's pretty normal for him to disappear for a few days straight. But two days with no word from him is pretty unusual. You spoke to her yourself? Yeah, once Agent Weston iid the receipts from the blood. Receipts and blood from the car. We put in a word to the Philadelphia Police Department to look for him. He came by his house and asked her when she last saw him and where he was. To their surprise, she tells him that she hasn't seen him in two weeks. She then asked them what they know about his whereabouts to me, and they made her call me. I arranged for us to go see her this afternoon to ask some questions and check out his office. This afternoon? It's already 2 p.m. It's a five hour drive from here to Philly. You're right there. I figured it'd be okay to appear in the evening, but best we just reschedule and see her in the morning. I'm not so sure about that because people keep dying. And I feel like she's going get, to get dead real fast. Jeez, I thought you fancy FBI agents would run a tighter ship. That was Special Agent West. He's dead now. <laughs> so yeah, let's drive over to Philly, check ourselves into a hotel, grab some Philly cheesesteaks, and then get a good night's rest. Wow, is this all a big holiday to you, isn't it? Ha! Very funny. I wasn't kidding. Don't underestimate the importance of sleep. You need a good night's rest to be your most efficient. On that subject, do you mind driving us over to Philly? I drove from... DC this morning and I'm super tired. No problem, you remind me of someone. Who? My old partner, Phil. You met him in Silver Creek Falls, the English guy? He seemed pretty cool. I'll take that as a compliment. Alright, so now we're going over to Philly. That's cool. Um, I need to save. The Beaumont, Philadelphia. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I want to save real quick just because. Wow, that was a really long drive. Yep, so we are here. Welcome to the Belmont, Philadelphia. You gotta be kidding me. It's in the middle of an industrial park. Are we anywhere near the metropolitan Philadelphia? Well, Philadelphia is about 10 miles away, but this is a good hotel, trust me. That's what you said about the Philly cheesesteak restaurant you brought me to. That place was awesome. I wish I had more to bring up. I wish I had brought more to bring up to the hotel room. Please don't. Just check us in. Sure. I we'll like it more when we go inside. I'm absolutely looking forward to it. After those just beautiful Philly cheesesteaks, it'll, it'll be just my. Why are there so many clocks? <laughs> what? Hi, right, two single rooms, please. Right away, sir. I'm still hungry. I think I'll go out and get another sandwich. Wanna join me? I'm fine. I think I'm having problems keeping what I ate earlier down. Miss, you'll be in room 803. As for you, Mr. Valdez, I've put you in room 903. Awesome! And we're just gonna watch him leave? Oh, okay. Take your time. There we go. 
All right. Let's hit the hay. I'm tired as all hell. Penthouse. Swipe doesn't work. I guess that's not my room. Yeah, I don't think we can get us a penthouse. Something tells me. No. We're 803. Right? Yeah. I'm not gonna walk in someone else's room. Day two. Alrighty. So, we are gonna go on our way. We're gonna do this interview, and then that'll be the episode. So, let us go and continue forward. Ding dong. I am ready for my interview. Yeah, get the f out of here, cat. Yeah. Move! Cat, cat, move! Cat, move, Jesus Christ. Sarah pass the key card to the concierge. Trying to leave without me? No, I just didn't know where you were. We should swap phone numbers. Yeah, I'm surprised we forgot to do that yesterday. Well, it's probably because you were passed out. Why are there flowers over there? I'm really confused right now. So what's the plan for today? We're going to Connor Friedman's house to ask his wife some questions. So, obviously. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's go ask, uh... Was it the guy that died in the car crash? Are we asking his wife? I think that's who it is. Yeah, we're, we're asking the wife of the guy that died in the car crash. Um, some stuff about him. So... Wow, clearly Connor Friedman was doing well for herself. This house is enormous. Which makes it all the stranger he'd steal someone's car, right? I guess it's his wife standing outside. Yep, that's her. Let's go talk to her. Let's do it. Mrs. Freedom? Freedom? Yes. I'm Special Agent Valdez, and this is Detective Fitzgerald. We spoke on the phone yesterday. Yes, we did. Please call me Lee. Of course, we'll... We've come to try and find out more about your husband. Yes, please come in from the rain. His office is upstairs. The door most to your left. To the left. If you want to learn about him, that's your best shot. Thank you, Lee. We'll talk to you after we take a look at his office. So, let's go and investigate the office. Okay, so she's not dead. Which is really good, in my opinion. Because I thought she was going to be just super dead. Um... Cause that's the way this game's kind of been going. Not too bad compared to the wreck mess I saw in Silver Creek Falls. Yeah, this should be a cleaner job, but it's gonna be tedious. We need to look through his stuff and see what we can find out about this guy. Investigation time. Papers strewn about everywhere. Boxes. Stock market projections. Maybe the guy was like some sort of conspiracy theorist. Case of 2008, Paso Robles Molo. A few bottles are missing, though. Oh, so the wine from the car crash. Packing peanuts. Awesome. Keeps all of his clothes in the box. Okay, so this guy's a little off his rocker a little bit. My guess. Or he's just around a lot. Works in the finance. We need office equipment, but this much, he could supply an office with like six or seven people. So what is he buying? Oh, just office equipment. Books on finance and accounting. Okay, so I think he's like a... Uh, whoa, what? Small unframed print. Signed F. Holloway. That's a lighthouse. That is a lighthouse. I can tell. I can already tell what that is. Um, might mean something. So I think this guy was not necessarily a shut-in, but... Kind of a prep guy. Yeah. He has a lot of iodine, sewing kits, and gauzes. Looks like he had two. Looks like he had to close a few gunshot wounds. Looks like Mr. Friedman had some interesting nighttime activities. So he got in trouble a good bit. Check out the gun. It's a fine piece. Have you checked the barrel? Yeah, he's used it before. Clearly not your average businessman. Maybe you. Maybe you was just at the range. Okay. I want to give the guy a benefit of the doubt. Computer seems pretty devoid of files. I guess this guy just used it for emails. Sometimes you get lucky and find everything you need in one computer. I guess this isn't one of those cases. He's careful with his files as he should be. He's got a fire extinguisher in his room. Why? Oh, a key. Let's talk. Talk about hiding something in plain sight. 
fascinating. Oh, the key. There we go. Key worked. There's a letter inside. Read it. Yes. Franklin Bolt, Bolt Pharmaceutical. Dear Mr. Friedman, it was a pleasure meeting you and discussing business. Please bring this card to collect your sample pack. Okay. Alright, now let's interview his wife. See, everyone was once you left. Uh, don't be shy. I'll have some coffee and cookies. Oh, did we not investigate everything? Well, let's return. I'm not done. I don't know what you're talking about. Kept his bed in his office. From what I could gather, speaking to Lee, they had been drifting apart. That's why she hadn't bothered telling the police that he was missing. Going on long business trips and on short notice was pretty normal for him. Is that everything? God dang it. I guess I'll fing go back. What am I missing? Did I not get this box? Aspirins, toothpaste, soap. This guy really likes buying in bulk, huh? Okay, is that everything? A lot of receipts from day loan places. Those fast cat joints are other scams. Why would the guys versus this need to use them? Pawning off stolen goods. He's a venture capitalist. Oh, that's great. Something's off about this guy. Receipt from the Naughty, Vin Naughty Vixen Entertainment. No prizes for guessing what type of business they're in. How much is the receipt for? Thousand dollars. Jeez, for one night. Damn it. He was spending way too much money on liquor and bitches. Is that everything? Please, get me out of this office. God dang it. So he likes hot dogs. Oh, it's a ring. Has a small insignia in the middle. What? Describe it. Yeah, there's two snakes on a halberd. Oh. What is it? It's the insignia of the Spaniola family. Spaniola family? Big and important mafia family. They're running operations all over the east coast and midwest area. So you think he was working for the Spaniola family? Most likely. One doesn't come across these rings casually. Either that or he killed someone from the Spaniola clan. If he did, he sure as hell wouldn't keep the ring as a memento for them to find. Yikes. I got a guy who could tell me something bluff. Shit, I paused it. I'm sorry. Boom. Like, what those messages were. Sorry, I didn't mean to take that out of... Okay. Hi, Lee. We have some questions for you. Sure. Ask away, sweetie. What was your husband's profession? He was a hedge fund manager. Do you know of... Do you know of or haven't you met any of his clients? I'm afraid not. Connor never talked about his work and his home office was soundproof. Actually, when I came to live with him, he said one rule in the house was that I was never enter that room under any circumstances. If something was to happen to him, the answer would be in that room. Interesting. Have you ever been to a city office? Do you know what it is? Nope. I don't know that it was in Philly, though. Why not? If I ever called him because of an emergency, he'd always be at least an hour away. Interesting. Never all thought all this was a bit suspicious? Initially, I thought it was just because he hated his job. If I'm perfectly honest, I'm guessing his hedge fund. I'm guessing he's a hedge fund manager. I really don't know. What makes you think he's a hedge fund manager? Well, I overheard him talking over the phone, and he was saying, It's a temporary slump in the market. Don't worry, your shares will rise again. It's the only time I ever heard him say anything work related. So you told me the other. What the? Why is my frames dropping? Why is this happening? So you told me the other day that it was normal for Comrade to disappear for a week. Yes. Has he ever told you where he's going? Nope. <laughs> I literally have zero frames right now. What happened? Why is there such a frame drop? Was this the status quo since the beginning of your relationship? Okay, I'm gonna try and blast through this and then I'm gonna save, yeah. Was this the status quo since the beginning of your relationship? Not at all. When we started dating, it was almost like he was a magician. He worked for a few hours a day and made a lot of money. He was always free to take me to nice places and while he said he couldn't always travel, he was there for anything I needed. Even a year into our marriage, he was generally not that busy. Then when the financial crisis hit, it, it was like a switch. He was, he turned and he became another person. You'd have to go on long business trips all the time. He was never home. 
Did he change as a person? Yes, he became very distant. He didn't talk much and was cold all the time. We haven't even slept in the same bedroom for a year. I'm sorry to hear that. Was he ever abusive? He never laid a finger on me. He was just missing all the time and uncommunicative. Did he change physically in any way? Yes, he lost a lot of weight and became a lot paler. I tried insisting he'd see a doctor, but he never listened. Man, so this some shit really happened with this guy throughout all this. I know this is a personal question, but how are your finances? They're fine. I mean, it's not like before when we could buy any luxury we wanted whenever we wanted. But it's not like we're in debt or anything. We did have to fire our maid though, which is why some parts of the house are so dusty. It's hard to keep such a large mansion clean. Ah, oh, the problems of having a mansion. Although I'm sure there's a plethora. One last question. Did he ever mention anything about a Bolt Pharmaceutical? No. We normally buy the local pharmacy and the house brand. It's all the same, isn't it? Thank you, Lee. We'll do our best to find your husband. Please do. As much as we've begun drifting apart, he's still my husband, and I still love him very much. We'll do our best, Lee. And with that, I will end this right here. So, uh, our, our Lee that we've got right now is this guy's gone missing. Apparently, he was he could have been with in with this mafia gang. So, that might be the gang that um, Mark was referring to. Mark slash Philip, yeah. So, that might have been the people that he was referring to. It's really opening up to be a massive case. It's a lot bigger than just a f couple murders. And then, why would you murder those people? You know, what would be the point behind it? It's, it's really weird, but with that, I'll leave y'all guys there, so. Thank you all so much for watching. I can't wait to solve this mystery and figure out what all the secrets are behind it, so. It'll be a lot of fun. And we'll figure it out together, using our detective skills and our large brains and smart intellect. But, until then, I'll see you later. Bye!